Hello friends! Hello again! Marco for your perfume, this is your channel, episode number 16. Today we're gonna talk about Rocha Men EDT, marketed for men but it's a unisex fragrance so women and men can wear it guaranteed. Please feel free to subscribe, to like, to share and eventually Tap the bell so you will be informed every time there's a new release. Okay, so today we're talking about a Grumon fragrance, a cheapie, that is unisex. What is a Grumon perfume? It's basically a perfume that is that the scent is eatable, that is very nice to smell. It reminds you of something that is in general uh, sweet. Okay, so. I remind you that Rocha is a French designer brand that was created in 1925 and it was created by Marcel Rocha. We say in French Rocha, we don't say the S. This specific fragrance, I get anosmic. So when I wear it, I don't smell. Many people give it a bad review because they cannot smell it, but other people can. However, it doesn't project so much. This is true. Okay? So it's a. Rocha, it's a designer brand. They uh, have very cheap release for their perfume, at least. Um, I purchased this one for 20 euros online for this 100 ml EDT concentration. It was a tester, so uh, basically the box, I don't care about box, I told you that many times. The box, I threw it away directly. The box was a recycled one, and it's other than that, it's the same uh, content, the same perfume, the same juice. This is what is important. So 20 euros, around $25 for 100 ml. It's a bargain for rumor. Okay, so I remind you that always it, at the end of the video, I will give you uh, a similar fragrance to this one. This one basically was released in 1999, but the one who is similar is very expensive so please be patient and wait until the end of the video another thing I remind you that I never check perfume on a paper strip because it doesn't give uh, the perfume to develop so I, I check it on cotton even on cotton shirt or linen or natural fiber and on the skin only that don't try other because it will not do justice to the perfume so please um, Another thing, I remind you also uh, that uh, this one was released in 1999 and the perfumer behind the Grumont uh, fragrance, this one, uh, Rochas for Men, is Maurice Roussel, famous perfumer, okay? So first of all, we have a very unique bottle. Very unique is a diplomatic term that I use. And what it remind me? It remind me, you know, in the 70s, you have a psychedelic lamp uh, that have liquid inside and bubble gel that was always moving and transforming. This is what you remind me. For other people, it remind other pervert stuff, but it's not my case. Okay. So the category or the genre of this uh, uh, gourmand fragrance is Oriental woody spicy. The note. Good sprayer, by the way. Very good sprayer. The bottle I like also. It's original. It's quite heavy and quality. The form a little bit bizarre, however, it's okay. Something different in your collection is always nice. I have Toy Boy, so you understand that even bizarre bottle can give the best juice. Okay, so in the open, you have lavender. You have bergamot a little bit. Okay. On the middle lot, you have cappuccino, you have raspberry, jasmine, Virginia cedar. The cappuccino comes very quick because it dries down very quick. And I quite like it. It's very sweet also. A creamy cappuccino, okay? And then on the dry down or on the base note, you have sweet vanilla, very sweet, patchouli, sandalwood, cedar. It's a Virginia cedar, it doesn't matter. And amber and a little bit musk. I feel at least a little bit musk. Okay, so now I will tell you the, the, the scent, how you perceive it. When you smell it, you have, of course, 
the lavender, which is dominant, 30%. Then you have the coffee note, the cappuccino to be more precise, a milky note, a creamy note, 25%. And then after that, you have, of course, uh, the vanilla. The vanilla is also 25%. And then the floral note here is basically the jasmine, lily of the valley a little bit also. This is how you perceive this fragrance. Oh yeah, yeah, I like it. It's a little bit synthetic in the beginning, so in the opening, but only a few minutes and then it disappears. It's very well blended, very well. And in the dry down, you get this feeling of a pancake vibes, at least me. So uh, the dominating, is, as I told you, it's a rich, comforting smell, at least for me, that will last on my skin between four to five hours if you spray seven to 10 sprays minimum and it will last five to six hours. No, five hours, sorry. Four to five hours, not more. And it's suitable only for spring, only for soft winter, not in the summer, it will not last, and for autumn. Autumn is very good for this fragrance and it's a comforting smell. So if you're drinking or inviting somebody in a cafe, it's perfect. So it's a rich, comforting smell. The projection is half matter, not strong, not strong, but it's an intimate, so it's not, an intimate scent, so it's not important. Uh, the central is not strong either, very weak even. The demography is between 14 to 15 years old. So now you get the alternative, you ask patient. So it remind me how it's similar to a very expensive, a much more expensive than this one at least, fragrant that is Bond Number no. 9 by New Harlem. You know, the star bottle. Much more quality, of course, perfume. The last at least three times more. And it reminds me also a little bit, this one is 80%, but it reminds me also Pure Tonka Man by Thierry Mugler, 70%. And also Coffee Break, Maison Margiela, 65%. Okay? The note I will give on this one is 7 out of 10. Why? 